Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. We will look at one more example related to definite integrals. How to find out the definite integrals as limit of sums. For that we will take this example. We have integral of e power 2x dx 2 to 4. We have to find out what is its value. So we will use the formula. What is the formula we will be using? The formula is integral a to b f of x dx is equals to b minus a into limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into f of a plus f of a plus h like that the last term will be f of a plus n minus 1 into h this is the formula which we will be using where we know that h equals to b minus a divided by n now let's substitute in this particular formula we have here a equals to 2 b equals to 4 f of x is e power 2x we also know h equals to b minus a divided by n that is 4 minus 2 by n which is equals to 2 by n now substituting we'll have integral of 2 to 4 e power 2x dx is equal to b minus a that is 4 minus 2 afterwards we have limit n tends to infinity we start 1 by n multiply with bracket f of a a is 2 can i write down f of 2 next a plus h that is 2 plus h like that next one will be f of 2 plus 2h we have to go for n terms now that will be next step will be 4 minus 2 is 2 we have limit as it is n tends to infinity we have 1 by n after that f of 2 f of 2 is e power 2x 2 into 2 can i say e power 4 plus f of 2 plus h that is e power 2 into 2 plus h plus f of 2 plus 2 h that is e power 2 into 2 plus 2 h because f of 2 plus h means we will wherever x is there we have to substitute 2 plus h so e power 2 into x in place of x i will be writing 2 plus 2 h like this we have to do for n terms now let's simplify go to the next step so let's continue the next step will be 2 into limit n tends to infinity 1 by n can i write it as e power 4 plus e power 4 into e power 2h plus e power 4 into e power 4h like that we have n terms so let's write down the next step can i get e power 4 out i can write down 2 e to the power of 4 into limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into i have 1 plus e power 2h plus e power 4h like that i have n terms to take care now this is you can see very clearly that 1 plus e power 2h plus e power 4h up to n terms is an geometric progression and we know how to find out the sum of n terms of a geometric progression for that the formula is s of n equals to a into r to the power of n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 
we know here we know here a is equal to 1 we also know r equals to e power 2h now let's go ahead and substitute that in the next step so that will be equal to 2 into e power 4 into limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into a is 1 into r to the power of n that is e power 2 n h minus 1 divided by r minus 1 r is e power 2 h can I write down e power 2 h minus 1 now let us simplify this further can we write down 2 e to the power of 4 limit n tends to infinity 1 by n into we know h equals to 2 by n that means h into n equals to 2 so can I write down 2 n h equal to 4 e power 4 minus 1 divided by e power 2 h minus 1 now we will try to separate this into two limits so the next step will be we will write down 2 e to the power of 4 then we have limit n tends to infinity e power 4 divided by e power 2h minus 1 and we have 1 by n there then minus of limit again n tends to infinity we have 1 by n multiply with 1 by e power 2h minus 1 in the next step we will write down h equals to 2 by n so that it will become 2 e to the power of 4 then we have limit n tends to infinity we have e power 4 divided by h equals to 2 by n so can I write down e power 4 by n minus 1 minus of limit n tends to infinity we have 1 divided by e power 4 by n minus 1 now we will leverage one formula so that we know that limit x tends to 0 e power x minus 1 divided by x is equal to 1 this is the standard result which we are going to use now for that what we will do we will write down n tends to infinity 1 by n tends to 0 so can I write down 2 e to the power of 4 then we will say limit 1 by n tends to 0 e power 4 we will leave it like that then we will have e power 4 by n minus 1 divided by whatever the 1 by n we have I think I have forgotten to write here 1 by n and here also we have 1 by n right that 1 by n I can bring it down and I want 4 by n so multiply with 4 here multiply with 4 here minus again limit we have 1 divided by 1 by n tends to 0 we have e power 4 by n minus 1 that 1 by n will become here 1 by n but we need 4 by n so multiply with 4 and divide with 4 so then in the next step we will simplify this because we know that this whole part will become 1 and this whole part will become 1 
we are left out with e power 4 by 4 minus 1 by 4. So let's go to the next step. Now we know that this part will become 1 because we have in the form of e power x minus 1 by x where x equals to 4 by n. So can we go ahead and write down the final steps that is 2 e to the power of 4 into e power 4 by 4 minus 1 divided by 4 or can I say 2 by 4 into e power 4 into e power 4 minus 1 or simplify and I can say e power 8 by 2 minus e power 4 by 2 that is the solution we can also cross check that by the we can do e power integration is e power 2x by 2 we know that we can substitute for 4 and 2 and by theorem we know that that is e power 8 minus e power 4 divided by 2 which is the same as whatever we got so that's one example how we can find out the definite integrals as limit of sums thanks for your time and support i'll catch you once again with another example related to integration bye for now